What started out as good news for many is now bad news to some in Ashtabula. Nearly 800 new jobs are coming to the county, all thanks to that new pig iron plant. Yeah, but instead of the impact on the economy, some are worried about what it could do to air quality. News 5's Taylor DeHaes is in Ashtabula to explain who folks are turning to now for help. The river running through Ashtabula has a history of being pretty polluted. And after taking decades to clean up, one woman who wrote a letter worries this plant might bring it back to square one. Smokestacks were spewing, you know, pollutants. There was odors and things are going into the water. And Repose remembers what it was like. You couldn't eat the fish or swim in the lake. Coal plants built in the 60s polluted the Ashtabula River almost to the point of no return. Make no doubt she's all for change, but she's writing to commissioners asking developers to proceed with caution. No one, no one wants to go back to that, and I guess we're all kind of on pins and needles because it's taken, you know, de like a whole generation to clean it up. The multi-million dollar pig iron plant has been in the works for a decade. The idea of building it finally came to fruition thanks to a pipeline that came to the area in the summer, giving the county enough natural gas needed. Petman's U.S. headquartered pig iron plant will be at the Kinder Morgan Penny Dock facility right near Bridge Street. It's expected to produce about 425,000 tons of pig iron every year. Pig iron is used for trains, hydrants, medical equipment, toys, and cars. We never caught on fire, but there were there were significant PCB levels and different other chemicals in the river. Ashtabula City Manager Jim Timonier says after taking years to get the river off the watch list from coal plant pollution, he's making sure this plant won't jeopardize it. Back in December, city officials met with folks from the EPA. Nothing that was that they were seeing poses a significant health risk to the area. Still, he had a few questions. What's it going to look like? What's it going to sound like? And what's it going to smell like? And he got them answered. We've been assured to this point that none of those three areas are going to be a concern to me or our residents. Repose is skeptical, trying not to make too big of a splash. She can't help but wonder if history could repeat itself. I know it's just the beginning of a growth spurt, and I'm hoping it'll be a good thing. The city manager is still waiting on the air permit from the EPA, but construction should start next summer. In Ashtabula, Taylor DeHaze, News 5.